here we go. Yeah. Oh, this is big. What the f Oh my god! What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Joining us today is going to be Torrance. Devin is just behind me. We are doing some kayak fishing on the channel. Highly requested. We have not been doing too much of it. Literally just put these kayaks up at the HQ thinking we weren't going to break them out too much more during this uh, during the winter, I guess. But almost 70 degrees out here in Texas today. It's feeling absolutely beautiful. Devin's day off, so we decided let's go grab the kayaks, take them out. We got a few hours before sunset and we're doing something special today, guys. Check this out. We have got the brand new Contender swim baits on deck. It is going to be the first time fishing this thing, but if you guys enjoy this content and we can get this video to a thousand likes, we will break out the contenders for more videos. What we're going to do today is talk about fishing these things, the technique we're going to be using, the retrieve, rod, reel, line, lure, all the good stuff. We might even do some comparisons with the bullgill swim bait to see how it swims, talk about the differences since we have caught some decent fish on that guy right there as well. The water's looking very clear today, so I'm thinking if I slow roll these guys, I should be able to bring a bass in from a far distance. By the way, if you want to grab the contenders, they are going to be linked down below. You can save 15% with code Weston. We have both size options here today. They just went on sale. Could potentially even be sold out for the holidays with how hot the swim baits have been lately. We've got the four and a half inch slow sink. That is one ounce. And we also have the larger seven inch, one and three quarter ounce contender. We're gonna really break these things down on today's video for you guys. And we have the bluegill baby bass crappie and bone color. So we really have a lot of options here. So let's go ahead and get the first one tied on. Also, the debut, check this out. You guys have not seen this one on the channel yet. The brand new Guggen Squad gold muscle rod. I have not broken this out. I did a video with a clickbait, but that was for the MTB channel. But we are just breaking this thing out again for the first time ever on the channel. It is a 7.5 heavy extra fast. We're gonna be tossing out these big baits on this guy right here, giving our impressions on it as well. So clear, you see straight to the bottom. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Start off with the clickbait, just because it's already tied on. A couple casts, and then we'll get to those contenders. All right, we made a few casts with the clickbait. I think it's time to break out the bigs, and I am most excited to break out the uh, the big one. Even though the smaller size is going to be the one that most people have uh, more confidence in, should attract more bites, and uh, many other reasons why the smaller ones might be more comfortable, like uh, making sure you've got a rod that's heavy duty enough to handle this larger one. Since it's got some weight to it, you don't want to be snapping your fishing rods because you're casting out a big old bait. But I'm very excited to try this one out. So let's go ahead and break out the bluegill pattern contender and the seven inch one and three quarter ounce size so some things about this guy the slowly sinking body of the contender has an unrivaled lifelike motion in the water the three jointed body is also painted with deliciously tasty details to fool even the savviest fish rotating hook hangers are included to help you keep your mondo from shaking the hooks fish the contender with a slow steady retrieve for maximum mondo action so that is exactly what we are going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this guy right here. Ooh, slow and steady retrieve, soft tail. So when those bass go to grab this bait, that doesn't get in the way. Like it said, 360 swiveling hooks. So what that means is if that bass has got a hold of this and he starts head shaking, a lot of times they can use that weight as leverage to uh, shake that hook. But when these things do a 360, there's less likelihood of that happening. Pond boys is calling me. He's joining us here in a second. Hey, but I ain't gonna believe this one. Uh, uh, I see you right there. What, what am I not gonna believe? Oh, your seat? You better pull it together. Get get you a Carl's bait and tackle box or something. <laughs> as far as line, with these big guys right here, I would recommend throwing on at least 15 because the thing is you want to have strong enough line. You could actually catch your PB on this guy right here. I mean, he's going to draw some big bites. Could get some small fish as well. I will not deny I've caught some small fish on big baits, but especially in wintertime, these fish are plump. They are fat for the winter, and when they do feed, they're looking for those big meals that are worth the energy expenditure because a lot of them are lethargic. Basically what I'm getting at, in the summertime when the water temps are a bit warmer, these bass are really actively feeding. They are on the move. But then, once it gets cooled down, they are getting sluggish. 
and they're really only wanting to eat these big meals that are worth it or something small and super simple just cannot resist like if you're dropping a ned rig or a drop shot you know think of some other typical wintertime staple baits but we're breaking out the big boy today 15 pound floral carbon i would go up to about 20 pound as well uh, fluoro is what i usually rock for my larger swim bait setups and you're going to want a rod that can handle it we have the muscle rod which i don't think is rated for baits over this weight but we're gonna push this thing to its limits and see if it can handle throwing large swim baits today on let me go ahead and snip off the tag in from my palomar knot that is definitely my favorite fishing knot i have a video actually on how to tie it so check that out if you're unsure of what is a, a fantastic knot for not only large swim baits but just about everything i am so pumped you know that the bass in here are eating bluegill this size on a day-to-day -day basis regardless so this thing could really stand out it's also got that baby bass profile and uh, they are known to go after some bass as well so we are looking good for a potential catch here i'm just going to be slow rolling this thing i kind of want to see the action first oh my gosh okay so you guys that have watched a lot of our videos in the past and if you haven't go ahead and hit subscribe right now and drop a thumbs up for this video don't forget we're trying to get it to 1000 wow dude this thing is ridiculous on a slow retrieve it's just keeps it a little bit tighter but then when you give it a little speed on that retrieve you really crank it oh dude he goes slow sink this is going to be one of oh my god dude this is potentially one of my new favorite baits muscle rod is feeling absolutely fantastic throwing this thing by the way I was kind of worried it might feel honestly a little heavy even for this muscle rod. There's a lot of uh, swim bait dedicated rods out there for you know your two, three, four ounce baits, but uh, this thing is gonna have absolutely no issues chunking this thing. I just tied on the dark sleeper or the duck, but I have had one hit. <laughs> I've had one hit and that was on the mission fish before this. She just switched from a, a bottom bait, the mission fish. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that thing, 316. It's a beast of a bait though. First one of the kayak sesh. We'll take it. First little guy. Bye. Yes. Ah! Woo! Got it. Yeah, sharp hooks. Got it back. Just had the first follower, guys. I tried to hit it with a figure eight at the boat and then he saw me. Got him, first one on the contender. There we go. Got him, nice. Get him up out of here. We are in the, no, no. He took us around one of the pads and ripped it. Dang. Did y'all see that? We were hot off an Instagram photo. By the way, follow us on Instagram. We're closing in on 100,000 followers. Dang. How did that just come off? Oh, that's frustrating. Just luck of the draw right there, man. Wow. He hit it so fast, too. Drew him in as soon as it hit the water. Seven inch contender bite, man. If that don't get your confidence up, I would imagine a fair percentage of my viewers haven't even uh, tried dabbling in swim baits this size right here, like a seven inch. But look, the bass, that wasn't like a four or a five pounder either. That was probably under three. Trust me, they're eating stuff like this on a day-to-day -day basis. You absolutely have got to get your hands on some big swim baits. I'll throw that smaller one here in a little bit, but I was really hoping to get one on the big one first. You know, it's funny, if you compare this to a lot of the swim baits we've been throwing lately, this really is uh, not the biggest. I've been throwing nine inch, 10 inch swim baits, uh, big old three and four ounce soft and hard plastics. Wow, it's just a matter of time until this thing gets freaking munched. And I'm just fishing it right in the cover, man. I'm, I'm really getting in there where these bass are probably ambushing and hiding, which is actually key. If I was fishing the open water, I might have a harder chance. It seems like it's gotten a little bit more stained on the backside here, meaning they might not see it from as far away. So going slow is absolutely critical. Draw these things in from a ways away and get them to commit. Long casts are your friend with these big baits, giving them ample time to actually take the opportunity to decide if they want to strike it or not. A lot of times they follow these big swim baits nice and slow, and then you hit it with a little reel twitch or you just kind of keep cruising it, and they decide, okay, now's my opportunity, and they go in for it, man. There we go, there we go. Oh, you, what is going on? Treble hooks are letting us down today. This is like, 
unheard of. Right by the branches. Oh my God, that was textbook. I cannot believe we could have had two fish in the boat already. Like they both ha were on the hook for a second. What's, what's going on, contender? What's going on out here? It is a absolute minefield back here. I think this is probably my fifth or sixth snag right here. I have the advantage of working with the kayak. This is my only one in that seven inch size, by the way. So if I lose it, I am definitely not gonna be happy. We've had five opportunities. We've had multiple follows and kind of like side swipes and then we've had two on the hook. Swoosh, didn't even hit the water. Back to back snags. Drop a like for that. Skills to pay the bills. I mean, I know there's bass on this tree. It's just a matter of where and if they'll come up and bite it. Ooh, I'm talking about that branch, baby. We got that branch, yeah. That's the 40th snag that day, Bobo. Mm, shit. Gotcha. Snags every three minutes, baby. That's what this episode's all about. We don't catch fish, we get snagged. Dripping in the weeds. Almost felt like a fish there for a second. There we go, there we go, there we go. Possibly the biggest one of the day too. Nice one. All right, right off the trees, finally. Yes. All right, guys, this might be like a four pounder. He's digging with us. I gotta let him play out a little bit. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this could be a, a potential, potential five pounder. No way. That's why we fish these big baits right here. Oh my gosh, this is a football. Absolute football. Come here, baby. Uh, look at that bass. Wow. Football. A mega. Megalodon, woo! Got him, Torrance! About time, too. Okay. There we go. First one to connect with, and it is a toad. Let's get this thing uh, weighed if our scale is gonna work on us today, and get this puppy back in the water. Look at that, though, the big old seven inch. That's exactly what we wanted. Yes! What do we got? Hey, Siri, how many pounds is 1.93 kilograms? 4.25 pounds. Four and a quarter, man. That's what we're talking about, check him out first one to hit on the seven inch contender let's just verify that real quick 1.93 kilos that's what we're talking about four and a quarter let's get this thing back in the water <laughs> This is big. Oh wow. Easy, easy. Is that like the biggest fish we've ever caught out of here? <laughs> oh my God, Devin, that might be bigger than five. That what? might be. Guys, I just made my way over here to Weston right after he caught that nearly five pound fish. I was like, oh, I haven't even fished over here yet. Oh, I'm shaking. I haven't caught a fish this big in a hot minute. So I'm really like excited and nervous. On that mega bass dark sleeper, holy moly. I want to say this is the three quarter ounce. He took his little eyeball, but let me go ahead and get this guy dipped in the water right quick. We're gonna grab a weight, 2.6. Hey Siri, how many pounds is 2.60 kilograms? It's 5.73 pounds. <laughs> Five and three quarters. <laughs> Holy moly. Just got that weight on that guy. Five and three quarter pounds. So sick. Just shy of a six pound winter bass right here. Look at this beautiful behemoth. I'm gonna go ahead and get this big old girl back in the water. Where's your paddle? Her paddle like totally drifted away. It's over in the trees. All right, let's see if I can get the trolling motor over there. All right, y'all, if this video hasn't hit a thousand thumbs up yet, I don't know what's wrong. I feel accomplished. I think it's time to go out for a nice dinner, babe. Jeez. I think we're good. Hey, 
So Devin and I have caught 10 pounds on two bass. Oh, got one, got one. <laughs> Second one on the bluegill contender. Okay. <laughs> Look at them go, boys. All right, see, that's what I'm talking about. There's those 360 treble hooks. See, now he's having a hard time throwing it. What happened with those first two fish? Devin and I could have literally had a bag of five fish right now. I, I missed the first two. Here goes our third fish in the yaks. Front facing rod holders on these uh, old town canoes. Absolutely the sickest kayaks, by the way. I always have these kayaks linked down in the description. There we go. Solid, healthy, probably two pounds right there. That puts us at 12 pounds on three fish. Oh my goodness, would you believe it? The fish are coming alive now, y'all. Water just getting to the warmest point it's going to reach all day. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy off and retie him on. Here we go, get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. This one might not be bad. Weston. And Devin's on again. Oh, wow. That's like a three pounder. I know. <laughs> so now we're up to 15 pounds and four fish, guys. This could be our best bag ever. I don't know if we've ever even really gotten a bag. We just kind of suck at fishing. So let me go ahead and get this guy back in the water. 15 pounds of fish and four bass. That's some kind of Smith and Weston record. Thank goodness I retied because that guy literally took me straight into those trees. Hey Siri, how many pounds is 1.51 kilograms? It's 3.33 pounds. <laughs> ah, the winter bass are out to play. This water is cold. It appears the bite is on with the water being at its warmest. It seems like this is feeding time, but the water's still freezing. <laughs> it is still very cold. I would say the temps are, I would say the temps, the water temps are below 50 degrees right now, which, you know, has these things oftentimes not wanting to go too crazy, but I'd say you might have to finesse these things out with something like a little Ned rig or drop shot most days, but uh, they are on the swim baits today. We are not gonna argue. In fact, I am going to cast right back in the thick stuff. By the way, I just wanna take a second to acknowledge the fact that I haven't broken any of these others out. I just, I gotta be honest with you, if they're hitting the big swim bait, I have so much fun doing it. I might just, I might just hold on to these for a future episode. We might just do like a junior contender Roy Al on the next couple episodes, have a few people rig these things up and see who gets the most on what color. But with that being said, the seven inch bluegill, wow. I mean, something to be said about this guy right here. Lot of attention today, a lot of attention. This thing has literally just hit the market. So if you guys are new to the swim bait game and looking to get into actually a cost effective swim bait when you're talking about uh, what this guy comes with, it's actually kind of rare to get those 360 swivel and treble hooks on something in this price range right here. Plus, of course, you guys can get that 15% off if you use Weston as your code at checkout on the Guggen Squad app and uh, website. I think the paint on this thing is still like 100. You know, sometimes you get those cheap paint jobs on these baits that come off like right off the bat. This thing looks like it is going to stand up to the test of time as long as I don't lose it. Guggen Squad logo on the eyes. I mean, it's a sick pattern. Really like this bluegill color. Now, if I was fishing the stained water, I would probably go with something like this bone color, just like a pure shad. I'd probably rock that guy right there. If I was fishing the lakes around here, I might bust out the bone color as well, just because there's so much shad in the lakes that the bass are also feeding on. In this particular spot, it's a lot of bluegill. I'm sure there's some craws, all that good stuff, but uh, this color works perfectly. All right, let me buy. Right, there we go. Oh no, I'm stuck. Weston. Devin says she needs my help. I think Devin might actually have a good fish over here and be snagged. I gotta go see what's up. <laughs> it's like a half pound. Leave me alone. He's just upside down right here. You, you need, if you could come over here, I don't, I don't know how he's snagged, but he's, he's like on the top of a twig. He's like a foot down, if that. You'll see his belly. <laughs> come here. Get him? No. Ah. Got him. 
Got him. She got him. <laughs> I was so confused. It appears I have downgraded. So I think we've covered rod and reel, but I done forgot. Oh, speaking of rod and reels, I'm actually giving away this combo. Not this, but brand spanking new. I'm doing an SLX XT on my Instagram, as well as a brand new Guggenrod, whichever one y'all want. Green series, gold series, I don't care what it is. I'm doing a holiday giveaway. The winner is announced on New Year's Day, probably somewhere around like noon or something like that. So if you want to get entered, check a uh, comment or just down in the description. But regardless, you'll be able to see the Instagram giveaway over on our page. So check that out if you want to win a combo like this right here. I was talking about how this is just like a middle of the range gear ratio 7.2 to 1 I mean you're just gonna be slow retrieving these guys right here until you get a hog baby but um, yeah so it doesn't really matter too much on the gear ratio I don't think you just want to do a steady slow retrieve and you'll absolutely crank them uh, okay so our top three fish I think have gone for 18 pounds because this is another like three I guess I should let some line out I'm not even tripping I'm having too good of a time boys let a little extra line out little kayak secret put that in the front facing rod holder Boom, he ate that thing too. He got all the way up there to that front treble hook. That's what we want. Okay, so maybe a little shy of three. It's actually pretty fat. That one could go for three, but I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that's two and a half right there. We're gonna get him back in the water. See you, bud. But by the way, if you guys are looking for a specific swim bait reel, this is my absolute favorite. The uh, Shimano Tranks 200. Perfect for most ponds and lakes right here, guys. Shimano Tranks 200. That's always linked in the description. Check that bad boy out favorite swim bait reel and just because i know we'll get questions this is a saint croix mojo bass swim bait rod this is rated for like two to four ounce baits so if you're throwing some real heavy stuff you can get away with this and then also we've got the drt uh custom handles right here y'all these are the varial 110 millimeters so bada bang bada boom and by the way we got torrance over here he's on the seatless kayak he's paddle boarding today joining in on the action check him out down in the description i'm talking about plugs on plugs on plugs in today's episode baby all right y'all i don't even know if i got that last catch on camera my gopro's battery was a little low so here we go i don't even know fish number one two three five for me i'd say this one's probably pushing a little like the two and a quarter maybe two and a half good fish nonetheless super exciting oh and we get a shower. We can go fish closer to the front for a second, but you can just hang on to this real fast. All right, we'll crank it up. Let's ride. <laughs> no see, but we still getting it. Oh, <laughs> oh it's all gosh. good. It's all good. <laughs> oh, oh my don't, God. Don't miss say, don't take a drive. All right, I think we just caught one of the last ones for the evening. Take a good look at young homie right here. It was right off of this stump, but I don't think the GoPro clip saved properly. It's low on battery and it was kind of glitching, so I believe that clip is not usable. Oh, there we go. Got him on the jerk bait. First. Yep. Oh, you got one too. Devin got one on the jerk bait just now. First cast. Oh, God. First cast with it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, don't let him go by that tree. He came off. That was like a four. No. Came off. I was scared. I couldn't live him with the with the treble hooks. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, these treble hooks. This feels good to catch a jerk bait fish. Good little evening session. We really got to get out of here, but you know what they say when the bite is on, you don't leave. But, uh, we literally just got another one. I'm, I'm just casting my way to the truck and the contender's just smashing them all the way to the bank. Yep. One last good look at this guy. Bam, man. Seven inch model crushing it. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. Loaded up, man. One of the best days Devin and I have had kayak fishing in a long time. And it comes in late December, literally four days before Christmas. Happy holidays to all you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, major kudos to Torrance linking up with a ton of fish today. Totally unsuspected, dude. I, did you think we were going to get on this hot of a bite? Dude, we had like, what, two hours, two and a half hours, and we just got out there and smacked them. So that was <laughs> legit, man. I mean, we were all screaming. Like, Woo -hoo! Woo! So, <laughs> Devin outfished us both. With about a six-pounder, man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one. See you then. <gasps>